Hello everybody and welcome back to LMM. And if you're enjoying the kind of stuff you've seen on the channel at the moment, the links to our social media are all in the video description. Today, it is the annual Ipswich to Felixstowe Road Run, which is organised by the Ipswich Transport Museum. And it's something that I've taken part in a couple of years now with my fire engine. And so today, I am not here with my fire engine because it's currently parked up at the garage, awaiting a new set of front tyres, which just haven't appeared which is really disappointing. So, yes. So the vehicle I am driving today, but that didn't even make it here under its own power. So keeping in the theme of the event, I am indeed in a Dennis. This is a 1936 Dennis 4-tonner, which belongs to the mid suffolk Light Railway. Uh, previously, I think it was at the Ipswich Transport Museum and it was given to the MIDI, and thanks to my friends and the effort of the mid suffolk Light Railway, it's been restored back to running order. Now, this is, as I said, a 4-tonner, which is either known as the Ace or the Mace, but we're not really sure. Apparently, to the Dennis specialists we talked to, they were just sold as the 4-tonner. I have never driven this machine, but today, this is what I'm going to be taking to Felix Day. So also in attendance, obviously, it was my mate's comma, which I am yet to bring to the channel, but it'll be coming at some point soon. Uh, so my basic plan for the event is just to follow this thing, because it's an absolute beaut. And yes, at some point, guys, we will be bringing it to the channel. That is happiness right there. The Reliant Ant, which I don't think was caught in the ant when it was in service. And next door to it, friends of mine who have recovered Jupiter before. Well, yes, I'd very, very much like that. That is absolutely magnificent. Look at that. I love that lorries that have the bonnet coming off the front. Now, most people, if they get rich and famous, they'd end up buying a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. That, that's what I want. Proper freight liner with a duck on it, proper big truck. That's just, it's fantastic, isn't it? Just such a statement. Well, and always a selection of the Jeeps. And that one, that one a friend of mine owns, and he said I can review it at some point. So that's exciting. Oh, I found something new that I want. That is magnificent. And then we got stuff that makes me sad because it's fire engines and obviously mine's not here. That's very pretty. I really want that because that's awesome. That 100% is awesome. Love the little Landy fire engine. Also, equally, uh, that's cool. I thought I was in possibly the oldest lorry here. Not by a long shot. Look at that. This is gorgeous. And then just more stuff, more Jeeps, more stuff like that. And a green goddess, because every vintage show ever needs a green goddess, I think. And then cars. There's a lot of cars. There was just so much to see that by the time we were due to leave, I'd failed to see even a quarter of the stuff that was available. 
and I was feeling quite apprehensive. So let me take you through some of the features that this lorry has. It has both side lights and brake lights, and that concludes the light -like segment. It has an oil pressure gauge, which lies, an ammeter, which lies, and a speedo. Oh, and it's got a single windscreen wiper. Yep, yep, that, that's it. And it turns out that there were quite a lot of vehicles trying to all leave the park, which led to, well, basically a traffic jam. And then we stopped again to allow even more cars to leave. Keeping that heavy clutch depressed was also causing my leg to really ache as we waited for yet more vehicles to exit the park ahead of us. I wish the 
wait for the work. And uh, it's crawling along through the bus is the single most unpleasant experience I think I've ever had. My leg is on fire. It's not, it's not like, it's like a modern vehicle where you just go push it. This has taken a considerable amount of effort to kick this to press. The pain, ladies and gentlemen, the pain is quite something else. By now, the vehicles at the start of the convoy had actually managed to exit the park. Thank you. 
And then, as we headed away from the park on the main road, and just as I was starting to feel confident with the vehicle, the inevitable, which all of you were expecting, happened. It just popped out, or I've lost electricity, or I've, I've lost drive. Right, I'll um, I, I'm at the side of the road. I'm not off the road, but I'm, no, no. I'll continue sitting up at the side of the road, and um, all right, buddy. So my lift, which is the other lorry that this came on. That's why I'm so broken! <laughs> oh, the curse is real! The curse is real! Why is it that everything I touch breaks? Oh. And so, stranded at the side of the road marked the end of my attempt to get to Felixstowe. Or so I thought, because some deity, for some reason, took pity on me, and for no reason at all, the Dennis randomly decided it would fire up back into life. Not wishing to question this divine intervention, I set off back onto the road towards Felixstowe, feeling very, very excited and frankly, a little bit confused. But the more we drove, the better it got. There was just one problem. The route normally went the back way to Felixstowe, but that was closed, which meant we had to go on the dual carriageway. Travelling on the dual carriageway meant that I had to take the Dennis to absolutely flat out, joining the exclusive club of vehicles that I have driven on the road completely flat out and remain under the speed limit. But eventually we came off the dual carriageway and headed to the seafront at Felixstowe. Yeah. 
So we have successfully made it to Felixstowe and this has been one of the most stressful and hard drives of my entire life uh, to the point that I got out of the cab now having turned off the cameras to find that I can hardly walk my legs gone absolutely just not numb but the amount of work I've had to use on that clutch. Vehicles have certainly have evolved since 1936 and this thing is um, an experience but not one that I'm necessarily inclined to, re to repeat. Thank you. You made it! It works! That's two for two. With the comma arriving successfully, I fired up the Dennis and moved it closer so the two vehicles could be displayed side by side and then I could go and enjoy the display of over 600 vehicles lined up along the promenade. And it really was a sight to behold. In, sorry, on subjects of people who are equally as mad as me to have driven mine was the, the person who decided that they would drive this international all the way. I mean, kudos to them, but insanity. What we have here is a gathering of St. Sinclair C5s, which I'm going to refer to as a swarm of St. Sinclair C5s. I think that's the right term. Not a herd, not a squad, a swarm. It's a swarm of C5s. I've never, literally, never seen so many in my life. I think they're really cool. I'd have one. Definitely would have one. Presenting, for your enjoyment, the actual Fiat 500. Not the modern thing, which is an abomination. Every time you see this, and you see a modern Fiat 500, you realize how far it's gone in a wrong direction. These, genuinely cool. The new one, not so much, but these just magnificent <laughs> little cars. Super, super fun. This, this one here is very similar to the rolls that I once upon a time looked after and had inside the shed, which had a 6.8 litre V8 in it. And when I inquired on the forums to what kind of MPG it would done, I was told that if you need to ask what kind of MPG a rolls it does, you shouldn't have a rolls. And so that was the end of that really.
So one of the things that um, doesn't look quite right here is that. Now, it's gorgeous, but I remember them being like, not an old car. That doesn't look like an old car to me. It's lovely, but it's not old enough to be here. Oh God, I've got old. When did that happen? Every time I come to a car show, there's always one thing I see that I want, and it's this. It's the MGB GT. And I really regret not buying one of these when they were cheap about five years ago, because the price has gone, they're still not expensive, but it's gone way up from what they were. But they're just gorgeous. They're just amazingly cool cars, and I re there will be one on the channel at some point. Oh, the common gear. Just absolute beauty from Volkswagen. That is absolutely... Oh. <laughs> The humble Model T Ford. One of the, I'm not gonna say worst things, but just one of the most unenjoyable experiences I've ever had driving something, because it's so unintuitive to try and undo, like 20 years because I've been driving stuff since I was like that big, to try and make it work, because you instantly want to use the brake, but it's the wrong pedal. They're just very cool though. That is absolutely gorgeous. As is the tiny little mini police vehicle, which amuses me intensely. That's great. Oh, yeah. I'm actually almost as impressed with the fitness set in the back of this as I am the car. Vintage fitting set to go along with the vintage car. That is awesome. Having once again failed to see the majority of the vehicles on show, I received a phone call because my friends had one last job they wanted me to do. So that brings us to the end of this day here at the Ipswich to Felixstowe Road Run. And it has been a really enjoyable day. I think 625 minus one fire engine, so 624 vehicles were in attendance, which is an amazing turnout all along the promenade here. And as you can see behind me, I'm not driving the Dennis back home. Not because I hate it, but I have absolutely zero desire to take it anywhere further. This was the longest trip that it has made since it has been restored. So it's the longest journey it has made this millennium. And that's something very special. So I feel really honored to have been able to drive it, take it through its paces, take it onto a dual carriageway for probably the first time ever, <laughs> ever. So it's going on about that. It's going back to the MIDI and I'm going home. But I haven't really thought this out because the comma only takes two and there are two already which means that I've got a very long walk ahead. So thank you all for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed this. Check out the Eastwich Transport Museum's website for more information on them and also this event that will run again next year. And of course, coming on the screen now, a couple of videos from our archives and stuff, similar adventures, that kind of stuff. And with that, the train station is that way. <laughs>